Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the video. Today, we're doing the highly requested, is Calvin good enough for the Overwatch League? This is what you guys wanted, so I'm delivering it. And for that guys, go ahead and drop a like on this video, drop a subscription to the channel, and get ready because the video is going to be lit. As usual in these videos, first I'm going to go over Calvin's professional Overwatch career, then we'll take a look at my personal experiences with him, and after that, I got a special treat for you guys. I actually went out and got an exclusive interview with Muma from the Houston Outlaws, who actually played on a team with Calvin for several months. He's going to give us a lot of awesome insight on what it's like to play with Calvin and how he was as a teammate and player. Before we jump into this one last time, I'm going to remind you guys of the giveaway we're doing. We're giving away an Overwatch snapback, an Overwatch League t-shirt, and a signed Kungarna jersey by me and Baby Bay. So go ahead and check the Gleam link down below to enter that, and let's get right into the video, guys. A lot of the general public don't know much about Calvin's professional career in Overwatch, so I definitely expect a lot of people to learn new things from this video. Before Calvin was a premier Overwatch streamer, he was a competitive player for multiple teams. He had a pretty good run over the course of the time he competed, and was always considered a strong player by the community. He was known for heroes like Tracer, McCree, Zarya, and Widowmaker. He was definitely known as one of the top hit scans in North America. He made his first appearance at one of the very first Overwatch lands, Agents Rising. He played for an unknown team with unknown players called the Veritas. Unfortunately, they didn't do very well at this land. They got knocked out in the second round. After a short run in a couple tournaments with Veritas, Calvin would sign with his first pro team, Colorado Clutch. On Colorado Clutch, Calvin would find more success than his previous team. He went from playing with a bottom of the barrel team to one that could compete with top teams and was considered top 10 in NA at certain times. With Colorado Clutch, Calvin would compete in major events like Overwatch Open, hosted by E-League, where his team narrowly lost to Team Liquid 1-2. They were one map away from going to the $300,000 main event in Atlanta, Georgia. Even though they had some decent success, they were never really able to break out into the top 8. And because of this, the team disbanded about a month and a half after Calvin joined. Only a couple weeks later after the team disbanded, he was announced to join Gale Force Esports, along with Muma. This is where Calvin would spend the majority and the remainder of his professional career. He played with Gale Force for around six months, and despite having some good players on the roster, they would consistently lose to teams in the Tier 2 scene. And at their best, they made it to the finals once of a rival Cade Weekly, where they lost handily to Citizen 7. They were just always outclassed by new and up and coming teams like Spicy Boys, Kungarna, Bird Noises, and Citizen 7. Near the end of his run on Gale Force Esports, Calvin's stream began to attract a lot of attention, especially on Reddit. There was always a bunch of clips being posted of Calvin pulling off some nutty shots, and even some people were accusing of aimbotting which was actually ironic because his Twitch name was Aimbot Calvin. Because of his incredible aim, good game sense, and top tier commentary, his stream ended up snowballing out of control. This put Calvin in a position where he no longer needed to compete as a pro and could make a great living off of full time streaming and he decided to do exactly that. He would slowly stop competing with Gale Force Esports around February. He played his last tournament with them in the Inter Overwatch Arena where they lost to Renegades 2-0 in the semifinals. This was it. This was the end, the last match Calvin ever played as a professional Overwatch player. Alright guys, now that I've gone over his whole professional career, I'm going to go over my experiences competing against him. It was actually my second tournament ever played where I got to play against Calvin when he was on Colorado Clutch. Two weeks into playing the game, I had a pug team full of brand new players and unfortunately, in the first round, we got put up against Calvin and Colorado Clutch. And it did not go well for us. We played a best of one on Li Zhang and lost very easily. I remember Louie on McCree and Calvin on Tracer. They were just absolutely destroying our entire team effortlessly. After this, I wouldn't run into him for a while. It wouldn't be till November when he was on Gale Force Esports. And this time, my team and I were far more experienced. We were currently on a tear in the Tier 2 scene winning multiple tournaments in a row. It was the Rivalcade weekly number five that we would face them in. And like in our first match, in fairly easy fashion, a team dominated. But this time, it was ours. And a best of one on Dorado, we took them out and went on to win the tournament. 
Calvin was playing Zarya for Gale Force in triple tank meta, and I felt he did strong individually, but the meta was centered a lot around teamwork and communication, and it was very easy to tell his team lacked in that department. This would be the last time I had an opportunity to compete against Calvin. Surprisingly, I only encountered him twice over our careers. His teams were always competing in the same tournaments as mine, but we always just ended up on opposite sides of the bracket and never made it to each other. I would have loved to have competed more against him, but unfortunately that's not the way the cookie crumbled. He would end up moving on to a full-time streamer before we would have more chances to play each other. Since I wasn't able to provide much insight on playing against Calvin, I went ahead and reached out to Muma about getting an exclusive interview on what it was like competing with Calvin and some other extra questions. So let's get right into that spicy interview. All right, let's kick this interview off. What team did you play on with him and how long? I played on with Calvin on GFE for about seven months. Um, okay, so when his stream started to blow up, how did you feel about it? And did you want him to continue playing with the team? Um, towards the end of the time with GFE, was about when his uh when his stream started to explode which is when he lost interest in playing professionally otherwise i honestly like like i said i really valued him as a teammate if that happens who knows he probably would have even came to houston outlaws as well because i, I would have loved to play with him to continue playing with him um like i said it was like seven months so why exactly did you enjoy playing on a team with him so much um he was always he he's he's a grinder, which is something I really really value in teammates, because like I think if you just have a team that's willing to just play matchmaking as frequently as Calvin does, and you just have like six people who are like that, I think you're going to improve at like such such as just a phenomenal rate. Like I, I play matchmaking so often, and then like so does he. He has so many accounts in top 500, and if you just keep grinding as often as someone like him does, and then you have a full team of six people all doing that. I think you're just like, it's insane how quickly you'd become the best team. So it seems he enjoys streaming a lot now, but if he did decide to come back and play in the league, where do you think he would stand in terms of DPS players? I mean, he has a really big stream, so I like, I understand why he doesn't want to uh, play professionally. Um, but I think if he ever did, and he ever like really committed himself to playing, I, I wholeheartedly think he'd be like a tier one player. Like a tier one hitscan player. Like on par with just any top hitscan player. Like he's got an insane tracer. He doesn't play it much anymore. But back when he used to play it, he played Tracer and that was pretty insane. His widow's insane. Nutty Zarya, Nutty Soldier and McCree obviously. Um and he's just a grinder. And like that's just so important. Alright, thank you for the interview, Muma. Those are all the questions I have for you. But real quick, do you have any final thoughts on Calvin? Yeah. I, uh... There's, there's not a lot of players that I will really hype up, if I'm being honest. But Calvin is definitely one of them. I, I think it's slight... Well, nah. I'll, I'll just... I'll leave it there. I'll leave it there. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we'll just leave it there then, man. Thank you for the interview. Okay. Maybe it wasn't that exclusive... But Muma definitely shared some awesome insight on what it was like being on a team with Calvin and where he thinks he could have gone professionally. Big shout out to Muma. He's a great guy and a great player. I can't wait to see him and Houston Outlaws compete in the Overwatch League. And lastly, what you're all waiting for, is Calvin good enough to compete in the Overwatch League? And if so, where does he stand in comparison to the other DPS players in the league? Well guys, if I'm being completely honest, I believe Calvin has the raw mechanics to challenge players in the Overwatch League. He proves on the ladder every season that he can easily carry games in high elo with other professional players in it. He finishes each season with multiple accounts in the top 50, and on his main account, he is always top 10. While doing so, he is always pulling off insane plays that leave people dumbfounded and wondering how he did that. For me, this is definitely enough proof that mechanically, he could easily hold his own in the Overwatch League. Now, when it comes to being a good teammate and working well with our team, I'm not sure. It would definitely take some more time for him to get back into the groove of scrimming and practicing daily with an actual team rather than just playing ranked. Going based off of Muma's insight though, he definitely seems like he was a good teammate and someone who would work hard to quickly get rid of the team play rust. So because of this, 
with time, I believe that he could easily compete in the Overwatch League and be a solid DPS player and teammate. All in all, the heights that Calvin could reach in the Overwatch League are unknown, and we might not ever be able to see. Maybe one day Calvin will get burnt out of streaming and want to compete again. I don't know, I'm crossing my fingers that that potentially happens, because I personally would love to see how he could do in the league. But again, we'll just never know unless he does. So Calvin, if you're watching, think about it, man. Think about it. <laughs> All right. And there you guys have it. Calvin is good enough to be in the Overwatch League, in my opinion. If you enjoy this video, be sure to drop a like and be sure to subscribe to my channel. I have a lot of great content in the works for you guys. You can expect much more videos about the Overwatch League, the players, and just Overwatch in general. I'm doing my best to post daily videos, and because of the growth of this channel, it just makes me want to work harder. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.